Today we'll be looking at the Ecolit Wireless PM 2.5 air quality sensor. This is uh, a device that connects wirelessly to your WH-1000 uh, wireless gateway. It comes with the sensor, a USB cable, and two rechargeable batteries. The features you can see uh, it measures current PM 2.5 content, which means um, it is measuring anything smaller than two and a half picometers. It works with the GW1000 Wi-Fi gateway, which is uh, this, this guy here in the middle. You have to have that in order to connect to the app or to your uh, Wonderground or whatever uh, internet source you might be using. You can view the live data on the app or on the Ecowit web platform, and I'll show you that here in a second. It has six uh, air quality levels that you can see there. It reports every 10 minutes. So the frequency is relatively low, but for air quality, it's probably not gonna change drastically within 10 minutes anyways. Um, you can have a standalone uh, display console that you can buy separately. And it also says it has a range of about 100 meters or 300 feet. Obviously that will be affected by things like uh, solid earth, metal, or other uh, devices that might be on the same frequency. In the box, you do get the aforementioned USB cord. That's one of the quirky things about a lot of these uh, EcoWit sensors, including the uh, wireless gateway. They don't have a regular outlet uh, connection. You use USB and you'll have to use one of those uh, like iPhone charger that's lying around like this guy and connect it that way. Inside the box, you have your instructions, your warranty information on the back. I can tell you that uh, EcoWit's customer service is the best I've ever dealt with. They include these uh, little orangey yellow cards in all of their products. And um, if, if you have any questions or concerns, I encourage you to contact them. They are very, very responsive. Um, I do think that you know this, this communication is taking place overseas, so you might not get a response right away, but you will get a response, and they are very, very, very helpful. Also inside the box, you have this little baggie. It's got uh, two rechargeable batteries. They're both uh, 2,400 milliamp hours, so they're pretty good. You've got four outdoor mounting screws. The top of the device itself has a solar panel, and it doesn't say how long the life uh, the lifespan of the batteries and the solar panel is if you're exposed excuse me to a decent amount of sun but um, the batteries themselves last for about 500 hours per the uh, ecowit information so this is it it's pretty small um, you could easily hide this somewhere i'm not sure i would want to expose this to a whole lot of precipitation and i might not even want to leave this out over the winter although you wouldn't really have to. It's very portable. The cover comes off, the screws go directly in. You can see the openings there. This is the part that you would mount if you're going to mount this outdoors. And if you're gonna put it outside, you probably want to put it somewhere where you can get the um, solar panel exposed to plenty of, of light. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, that would be pointed to the South. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you'd wanna point that to the North. Inside, you've got the battery compartments and you have the port for the USB charger. And one of the really nice features about these EcoWit um, devices is they connect automatically to the wireless gateway. So I'm going to plug this in and you're going to see a red light start to flash. There it is up there. And it's searching for the wireless bridge. And it is connected. And now it's going to flash every 10 minutes, indicating that the RF signal is transmitting from this device to the wireless gateway. And that's it, that's all there is to it. There, you saw the flash, put the cover back on, and now we're good to go. And it's already connected, the live data, unhealthy. Not sure if there's any calibration that needs to be done, but that's all there is to it. You can see my other sensors are connected already, and in the red there towards the middle is our wireless air quality sensor, already connected less than five minutes from opening the box. This is transmitting to the app. There it is, along with my other sensors. And uh, this is also transmitting now to my Wonderground uh, page.
So very, very easy to set up. One of the pros of EcoLid is that everything works really well. It's very accurate and it's very, very easy to set up.